goodness for Dorman because with this little kit, uh, you can safely change the, PV, the uh, PCV valve grommet and the connectors without worry about breaking it. Let me show you. Basically, that's everything you need from here. That's you got the boot here, you got the grommet, the valve, and it even comes with this little piece right here. Now these are old and brittle, so you want to cut it, and then you can peel it right off, just like that. If you make a little slit in this old rubber and then twist with a knife, I mean with a screwdriver, it'll come off. You can break it loose. Spray a little bit of this. It'll make it slide on a lot easier. This PCB valve, you just gotta pull like that. Nasty. There's the new grommet, old grommet, new valve, old valve, and that's the old one, but that's the part numbers. So those are the part numbers. It's easy work. All right, what you want to do first is push the new piece down on top of that little nipple there. Push that in. Let's spray that, make it go in a little easier. And this goes all the way down up in there until it rests on the old ridge, just like that. And that's it. Some pretty inexpensive Dorman parts will get the job done. I got those all at AutoZone. They didn't have them in stock. They ordered them for me. And, of course, this Jeep XJ has the dreaded water leak from the passenger side so I'm just gonna cut to the chase and go ahead and fix this like I did on the other one and that's going to require cutting this cowl out and putting some sealer in it is what we want to uh, seal around. We've got a bunch of projects going on on this thing right now. This is going to have to wait because i got to go get some special lap sealant to go around that box. <clears throat> but in here, I've already started on the soundproofing with this kill mat stuff. You can see I've got this uh, kill mat. This stuff's pretty cool. It uh, really cuts down on the heat and the tin noises and the road noise. And this, it comes in sheets like this. And you, with these little, and you cut it and it's very easy to stick and easy to work with. So I'll get a little bit more specific later. But what I'm going to do is uh, go in here to the inner wheel wells, clean this off, and stick it up in there.
Well, basically, you just peel it and stick. So, you peel it, stick. It's real simple. And boy, is this stuff sticky. I'm going to do this. <clears throat> this is the original soundproofing. Look at this. They put a little bit right here on the edge of this wheel well. That's probably for tire noise. But I guess they figure no tire noise comes here. Crazy. So I'm going to line this and this because a lot of road noise comes from the tires. Well, that's how I'm going to do it. The inner wheel wells. I'm going to go do the outer wheel wells. Ceiling. Inside the door panels. And probably the floor also. But the floor will be last. All right, I got some headliner material from this place called uh, Headliner Magic. And we're gonna, I got this headliner board from a junkyard. And as you can see, this is the old headliner, what was left of it. And the foam part is actually stuck on here. It's very nasty. But the best way I find is use like a, just a kind of a semi-soft bristle brush. And if you do that, it won't damage it. And as you can see, it comes right off. So I'm gonna do that to the whole thing. All right, I got all that nasty stuff off, but um, there's some glue residual from previous owner trying to uh, glue the headliner up. And what I found that works good is this decal remover. Watch this. Well, I got the headliner in. I didn't film hardly any of that because that was a pain. But it's in, and I'm fairly satisfied with the job. The upper molding is all in. That was a pain, figuring out what screw goes where. So the next step is to finish the, um, the sound deadening on the floor. And I do think that my leak in the cowl is repaired. Still have an air conditioner and a radio problem but we're one step closer. We're also doing a few uh, uh, cleanup on these plastic trim parts because since my leak's fixed, I think I'm gonna put carpet in it. All right, I'm very satisfied with this kill mat sound deadening stuff. Um, I got it from Amazon, that's the Amazon code. Uh, country of origin looks like Russian Federation. <laughs> okay, covers uh, 50 square feet. This is the manual that it comes with. Uh, it has um, some soundproofing zones. It gives you some tips on, on where to, uh, how to install it and where to install it um, and how to prep. So anyway, uh, I've already taken it for a test drive. It works really good. It has probably cut the sound by half the sound uh, interference.